All right, players loaded in. We are getting to it. Welcome to the Kutztown Overwatch Invitational today. Um, if you're just joining us now, my name is Connor. Uh, my name is Madison. And thank you for joining us. We've got uh, uh, seven, uh, I'm sorry, s yeah, seven games today. Yes. Starting with game number one, we've got Penn State Harrisburg and Drexel's A team. Okay. Optimal okay. shot. Okay. I am familiar with Optimal Shot. I'm now realizing that. <laughs> um, I have, pl I think I've played with Optimal Shot multiple times before. Incredible, incredible projectile player. This is the map to see uh, no projectiles, and he's still pulling it out. Very interesting play to do the Farah in a very much indoor map. Not a lot of space for them to move, um, but uh, let's see him get into it. We've got a May comp here from uh, Penn State Harrisburg. Um, Rob the Hood, I'm surprised not on Reinhardt. I, I, I may have made a mistake in remembering what, what they play. They may be flexing <laughs> right now. Um, Penn State Harrisburg took the high ground, deciding to move away here. Drexel A trying to find a way in with that ball. We see a lot of hectic movement on the point as it's about to unlock, and we see the May trying to get some pot shots. We've got pretty much everybody on the point, and it's unlocked now. We've got a pick onto the Ana that's going to take the healing away. Reaper goes down, and Lucio is able to get a pick on the other healer, so it's 1-1 one, one healer. That was an incredible shot from Optimal Shot on that on that knocked up uh, Ana player from the uh, slam from their ball. Excellent play. That sh single shot might have won them that, that whole fight there. Definitely a very good example of first pick gets you the first map. We're going to have a little bit of an ult advantage here for Drexel. Um, not too much though, as it was a pretty quick fight. There wasn't a lot of healing going on um, uh, between uh, pickoffs and whatnot. So not a humongous advantage, but we have some character swaps here. We have a Brig and a Risa, more tanky, trying to protect those supports. You see some back flanking and a pulse bomb goes out, gets absolutely nothing. We have a D.Va coming on to the Farah and we're pretty much just putting shots back and forth, and we get a pick onto the Orisa, so hopefully uh, they can start moving forward with that. Jeff Goldblum with the hook and cook there oh, on yeah. the Battle Cattle. Uh, Penn State Harrisburg uh, kind of getting pushed out here by Drexel. Drexel just trying to slow down this one team fight so they can stagger them for as long as they can. Penn State Harrisburg has to retreat here, and they need to play safe if they want to actually get in. They did swap off the Lucio, so they're going to be walking in slower. Here, a great pull onto the Roadhog off the map by Presti. Pushing up here is Penn State Harrisburg with a pick. What do you expect to see here? What kind of ults? Uh, looks like we have pretty much just Nana. Oh, and we see a Farah ultimate come right out on the field, get two immediately, shutting down anything that they just got the traction off from that pull, and we get the bombs out as well. And, oh, it's just a bloodbath for the side of Blue, lighting up the kill feed. Drexel A, their ball player, Vulgar, cutting off, or Vulgar, sorry, <laughs> cutting off the retreat there and catching some players who were not expecting there to be mines behind them. Hence the Harryberg with a quick reset. They do have a little bit of time left on the clock here uh, to get on point here. They're going to have to stick together here if they want all this spam to uh, get healed up. Even start to move forward. We've got a nano target and a trans coming out on the point. Uh, it seems like we've got our teams pretty much split up between the point and going on outside. We see a blizzard go down, and it's overtime. We see someone go off the edge due to this optimal shot, and he's just completely obliterating anything on the field. A diva bomb comes out that may do some damage, but it ends up getting nothing. The remech kill on a hit oh. hero might mean something if they have fast characters coming in. And Orisa Bongo is placed on the point. We've got a three versus four optimal oh shot my with God. another barrage. Incredibly fast charge ultimate. I haven't seen a far uh, uh, ult Just charge like that. that quick in a, in a long time. Oh my lord. That is really is the optimal shot. Um, totally did not expect far to work in such an indoor area, but it seems like they've really got it down pat with their team comp and just supporting that far and letting her really rain havoc on the point. We see we're moving on to the Legion point with the bridge, so we may see some boots here, people. If you're Penn State Harrisburg and you saw Farah on this previous map and now we have, uh, now we have uh, this one, mm -hmm. you have got to be expecting the Farah at this point. It, it is a requirement for you to, to have something to at least keep that Farah at bay. Don't need to kill her, but what you do need to do is let her know that you're there and that you're not going to let her take your team down. Mm -hmm. See a Symmetra on the side of Penn State Harrisburg as well. Hopefully that little quick teleport. 
Uh, it looks like we've got, uh, if I'm counting correctly, 10 unique characters in the game right now. Like I said earlier, Ooh, yeah. we've got a very, uh, I don't want to even say stale, but a very balanced metagame right now. A um, lot of damage there. Oh my lord. This dive comp just doing work on these characters uh, that are stuck uh, out of their support's healing. Even with that teleporter, it doesn't seem to do anything as they completely just clean up the team. Lucio goes down as well, and that's a cap for Drexel. Drexel making it known that they are not to be messed with early in this tournament. Um, Drexel A-Team, uh, obviously Drexel's a, a, a Philadelphia school. They have a large student population. I'd expect them to do pretty well here today, and I hope to see a, a, a lot of excellent plays here from Optimal. Uh, I, I want to see some great Zenyatta play too here from mm -hmm. CB. Just see some littering shots as we come around the side. We get a pick on the Ana, and they have to pretty much start over again with no heals and a boop that doesn't end up getting anything. Now we're getting more picks on the DPS line, and yeah, that's pretty much it for this push. Penn State just struggling to keep this Fara at bay, even when they're rotating. Fara gets a lot of value in long, uh, drawn-out, long-range fights. A great stagger here on Thame is going to mean that that respawn timer is even longer for Penn State Harrisburg, guaranteeing a lot more percent on the point for Drexel. Now we have some ultimates coming up on the side of Drexel, so they may be able to keep the point. On the other side, though, things aren't looking too good. We've got a swap for a Reaper now. Excellent little flank play there from Hitscan oh, Hero. Uh, looking for a Pulse Bomb stick. He and does gets it. it. He does get it um, on a, a D.Va who was pretty close to remaking. That's going to buy them even more time. Um, Penn State has got to get out right now if they want to have an, a, a good recontest here. Looks like they decided not ah, to. Ah, and the far at it again. A an excellent boot there from Optimal Shot, showing us uh, that this Farah is not to be messed with. So, Savage Badger switching to a Reaper here. Looks like he's just trying to deal with the tanks. Um, they do not have a lot for the Farah. The McCree alone with uh, uh, against a Mercy Pocket will, will be a little bit difficult here. Drexel trying to set up on point, not, re not really going for anything aggressive, trying to stall and, and make sure that they have to touch point exactly at 99. A beat is dropped here from uh, Penn State Harrisburg. Both support ults being used so that they can, they can get onto the point. But after they get onto the point, all of Drexel have their ultimates and they're just gonna throw them on them. They're just gonna clean right up here. Uh, pretty much anything that was gonna happen has lost traction as Hitscan Hero does what he does best, taking out everything within his sight. Optimal Shot coming to help in his DPS partner and that seems like it's almost about it for uh, Penn State Harrisburg. Here. Harrisburg Unless does get, get a recontest. pick here. Uh, it could mean something here. Oh. Oh. It, oh. We, okay. We, have we got a, lot a of back and forth point. in the kill feed. Jeff oh, Goldblum getting God. a remake kill right before he gets taken out. Um, there's players all over this point. There's people getting healed. There's people. There's ultimates getting thrown. A uh, mines on one side of the point is going to deny half of it for Penn State Harrisburg. And perhaps I spoke too soon. And here we go. Yep. That's. That's the end for that. We've got Drexel Team A taking map one away. That was a, 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 a fairly decisive win. Yes. Um, Drexel getting there before Penn State and, and denying their rotates was the biggest thing there. Um, optimal shot on this Fara, doing incredible work, spamming down their supports, keeping people busy, keeping healers busy, um, and catching these flankers like this soldier trying to come and deal with them gets booped off just immediate shutdowns. The game sense on this mad lad is insane. <laughs> what, what do we need to see here from Penn State Harrisburg? Uh, if they pull the far out again, we need them to, s to actively counter it. Having Cassidy on the field is a good counter, but he actually has to be able to pick everything that's coming his way. So if he's not hitting right. those shots, then they need to switch to something else that'll work. Right, yeah. Uh, even if you have the counter out, it might not work. You know, so um, finding somewhere else, some other angle to come in might be the, might be the play. So the, the, the angle that I think Penn State might need here is they need to play dive. Yeah, that... The, the far is going to do well against the slow comps. Far is going to spam down the supports before they can get in. And, and the, way that you get, the way that you remove that is you get in real quick. You don't let her see you and you jump in as fast as you can and you hop on their supports. Far, the only way that Far can protect her supports quickly is with either two insane body shots on a character who, who has 250 health or less, or uh, uh, a barrage. And so mm -hmm. cutting off her options for taking out your, 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 your diving tanks is great. So we're I, I would hope to see some dive on a map here. Um, we need to see a, a, 
a vertical map despite them playing against a far out because they need the verticality for their dive. Um, it's kind of counterintuitive to pick a, a map that would be good for Farah, but I think it honestly might be their only choice. It's like a give and take situation. Like you're allowing that Farah to come in, but then you're also allowing yourself the resources to pick that Farah and make sure she can't do anything. Because with a map like Lee Jung, you can't really dive anywhere. So them playing that was totally like a weird move. So hopefully now that they've shaken the jitters out, we've got the first map of the day out of the way. We can kind of see them start to come out of their shell and begin to counter that. Yeah, I, I, I will attest to that. Nerves are high right now, I'm sure, for them. Mm -hmm. um, I felt that a, a ton of times in my, in my LAN experience. And I'm sure after that first game, you get the shakes out, you get, you get in a good mental spot. Morale is a humongously important thing in Overwatch. Mm -hmm team morale. Um, Penn State right now, I'm, I'm sure they're feeling it, but they have to they have to dig whatever they have for this last map because if, if it's decisive again, they're going to be going home 0-2 mm -hmm. in this bracket. Um, if we did a two-day event, I'm sure it'd be double elimination. Yeah, but, but we don't have uh, that kind of time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> An event like this takes a lot of uh, resources from the school, so yep. um, single elim today. Best of three. Yep all we really got going for us. Wish it could be more, but got to work with what you got to have. Do we know um, the map type that's going to be next? Uh, if it's based off of what we've been doing with TESPA, then I believe it's going to be a hybrid. So okay. that would probably be like your King's Row, your Hollywood, right. those right. kind of maps. Yeah, I would expect... Um, uh, I did play King's Row against um, Penn State before, and mm -hmm. so I'm expecting that um, if they... I think they get map ch uh, choice here. Yes. I'm expecting uh, either somewhere where they can dive really well or somewhere where um, Farah is a absolute horrible pick. Mm -hmm. And the thing is, uh, I know Optimal Shot. I played with him. He could make it work on King's Row. Um, I think that would be a mistake of a pick, uh, even though it's arguably the, the most well-designed map in the game. I think it's the most mm -hmm. popular map in the game as from well. What I, from, from my research here. Yes, yes. From our, from our deep... Right. Research. Official research. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be getting uh, getting into it in a, a couple minutes here. We're just mm -hmm. uh, making sure everything is good and we're making sure that the map is picked. Um, we have people running around um, behind the scenes to make sure that we have the best production for you here. Um, again, if you're joining us, welcome. This is the Kutztown Collegiate uh, Overwatch Invitational. Uh, my name's Connor. Her name is Madison. Uh, we'll be here covering uh, all the games we can except for when yeah, you're playing. Yeah, except for when I'm playing. I won't be there. And it looks like our match is about to load in. Not my match. Match that we were just on. <laughs> Map two here. Um, Penn State Harrisburg versus Drexel A. Mm -hmm. uh, Penn State needs to push back right now or their day is over. Um, we saw a very strong dive and disruption comp from Drexel. Um, if, if Harrisburg wants to succeed here, right, we talked about uh, making it a hard map for Farah making it a good dive map so you don't have to worry about Farah. And there's one other option here that you can do. There's the King's Row. Um, there's one other option here that you can do, and, uh, and, and that's uh, switching it up and playing a comp that you're comfortable on. Um, at our level of play here, you can play, you can play what you want. Um, at the end of the day, um, I mean, these players are good. These players are the best in their school. Um, but Overwatch League players are the ones who are grabbing all the resources from their character and, and using every last drop. And so, um, as we get into this last match here, it looks like we might see a bit a couple comfort picks here, which is good. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see that. Um, we do have Presti on that Reinhardt again. Um, we do have Rob the Hood switching over to DPS here. A bit of a roll switch. Penn State pushing in. We've got an MO down on the field that immediately gets taken down, and we're trying to push around this statue, but they have the high ground, so they're just peppering him with damage, taking out Baptiste, and then pretty much it's moving back and around the point rather than going straight to it. Oh, pardon me, they're, rather they're going to meet them right up, which isn't exactly working out, but... Penn State has a couple of players caught. Oh, hey, they off on the far optimal shot. He now has to protect the res, which... Um, he gets does off. get out. Penn State Harrisburg now has two players here, kind of caught out, and a pretty long, drawn out first fight here means uh, almost a minute off the clock for that first fight, and a decent amount of ult charge here for Drexel. Optimal shot getting his ultimate already. Looks like we may see a couple mid fight ults here. 
Um, a lot of damage here from Optimal Shot. The rotates here, Penn State getting caught out on their rotates, and they have to move quickly, right? That have that Lucio. Mm -hmm. they, they've got to say three, two, one, and they've got to push through there real quick, or they're, they're going to get caught out early here. We see them rotating around the side again, and we see uh, Drexel coming back more towards the point to kind of defend it a little bit. We're not really sure what we've got here in terms of ultimates besides window, which immediately goes out, and then it's an all-out brawl as they try to just knock each other off the high ground and get things done. We get a pick onto the soldier, and Immo goes down for Penn State Harrisburg, and we're pretty much just pushing into each other, not even talking about the point, and then optimal shot popping off yet again. An insane amount of far play from this man. This is incredible. I mean, uh, the, the attention that these supports have to give to uh, everything that they're doing while they're pushing up is already too much and then to have to deal with someone who is constantly shooting your team and constantly putting them at half health with every rocket um, I will say the angles um, as a far player myself the angles that optimal shot is taking here are, are, are Incredible he's he's getting a lot of good spam on players in the back line he's getting a lot of good pre spam on corners before They uh, they even push in like they have to push in and push out because they're losing players too quickly here We have a swath off the Reinhardt onto a Wrecking Ball. Um, I think, honestly, that's a good choice. Um, they just need to get in. Um, and, and a slow, methodical approach with the Reinhardt is not working for them. Mm -hmm. We're going to see Ball start to touch a point to kind of pressure them to come and drop down. We've got some ultimate... We've got pretty much every ultimate on the side of Drexel, though, so they could shut this down quite easily, and they do, popping three at the same time. We see a counter beat come out, and we see uh, Harrisburg putting their own ultimates onto the field, and they are capping. They've got a tick, and they are just dominating. Finally breaking through that defense, that pick on the ball really seeming to help them out, just getting that damage through. I really hope that this is the exact break that they needed. I, I, I uh, m Again, morale is really important in this game, and once you win that first team fight, and you know that it's winnable, and you know you can do it, I hope that they pick it up, because I know that they can do well. Um, we're going to see a pretty far push here from the Wrecking Ball. Uh, looks like he's just gaining intel here. He's not trying to deal any damage. Um, he's just setting up for their next push here. King's Roll, one of those maps where after you, you capture first point, you can push pretty far. The defender spawn is pretty far back, um, and you can take advantage of that space before uh, the enemy team is able to get there. Optimal deciding to use his Sparrow ultimate early in the fight there to uh, get an early team fight win. Very interesting choice to use that ultimate, but it seems to work because they're starting to pepper the damage. Cassidy goes down, and we have some ultimates on the side of Penn State Harrisburg. Do you think they're going to use anything? Well, I see I see a grab combo here with uh, Slam and uh, their Cassidy ultimate. So um, uh, I'm hoping Penn State uses this early before uh, uh, someone gets taken out. And, and just as I Spoke say it, too soon. Castro's Curse has begun for today. Um, the grab gets used. We're having a lot of damage put in here by both okay, the teams. We see an MO go down on the field and immediately goes out, and we're seeing the kill uh, feed light up in red as we start to push the payload. Only optimal shot left, and he may be able to hero this, and nope, Ooh. just kidding. We if see. he had gotten that extra 15% mm -hmm. for that ultimate, I think he would have pressed the button. Um, yep. The go button, and that's Q with Farah. So um, one more touch here from uh, uh, Drexel here on this, la on this second point here. Uh, looks like Penn State getting a lot of movement here on this cart. Really good to see um, a lot of damage coming out from their, their DPS in these last couple of fights. But a decisive and quick win using that Baptiste ultimate. Uh, incredibly quick. Incredibly quick, to be Completely frank. Completely stopped them in their tracks. They threw window down, decided to go up with the up-down slam and just completely stopped everything. They could have even honestly capped the point if they hadn't have used ultimate. Penn State trying to find a way in now. Looks like they're respawning, using that Lucio speed boost to get back quick. Optimal shot, checking his corners. It's a good Farah, uh, it, 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 it's good practice for Farah to keep an eye on, on the flanks. It's easy for her to do it, it's easy for her to rotate, and she's doing a great job. Presti oh. does get an early pick here, okay. and Rob the Hood with the ultimate visor onto the far, taking her out, and the res goes onto the Ash, not the Farah. Probably a better choice considering um, we're, we're past this vertical point here, and a big shatter from Volger pushing up, swinging. It doesn't yield any kills, but he will contest the point for us. Or at least contesting the point here as they start to get picks on Drexel, and here goes Ryan and Mercy's just out for getting caught, and it looks like we're gonna see them pretty much capture the point here. Yep, and we've got everybody on cart. And it clicked with Harrisburg. Mm -hmm. 
it definitely just clicked. Switching off that Reinhardt, playing a more aggressive tank that causes more disruption is going to be what, what wins them this game here, um, at least this half. Optimal shot, switching off the Farah over to a Hanzo for the last And we see another point. Hanzo at the same time, actually, on both sides, switching away from the Cassidy, so we'll hopefully see some good duels out of that. We do have, uh, he's still, you know, off the, off the, off the uh, Cassidy and onto the Hanzo. We still have a Grav combo option here. Uh, Harrisburg pushing up, forcing Drexel to back up with those mines and the Reinhardt just getting out in time. A fire strike through this could be detrimental and it doesn't matter. Presty do, does get a pick on Optimal Shot who is on the flank there trying to get a good angle and he will be punished Red for it. Gets it res off on the Optimal Shot, maybe he can work some magic here. Seems like just Moira left. Or rather. Wow, yep, a, there we a go. great comeback. Harrisburg does get a lot of progress onto the cart. They almost got it uh, within five meters of the end, which is great. Um, and what that means for their time bank is, is they've got maybe two quick fights here left. Um, not a lot of ultimates on either side here. We might see some mid-fight ultimates here from Drexel. We might see a Bob early. Um, I'm expecting uh, a lot of damage on the tanks because of Bob. We're gonna see a lot of focus fire here. Um, Reinhardt brawls in the corner here near the mega health pack. A Diva Bomb on deck. Looking for something. Optimal Shot gets the early pick on his duo. You see the beat come out and the ultimates are just being thrown everywhere. It's a hectic bloodbath out here. Bob comes out onto the field and we've got everyone. Oh, we used the, we used the funny key. And, <laughs> and that he, he pays for that because he's down. We got a res on the hit scan hero, hopefully being able to clean up everything. We've also got a hit on Nazaria and it's pretty much stopped it in its tracks yet again. Drexel really coming together and just saying, no, you cannot walk through this door. Love to point out a great play there by Drexel uh, teammates Reinhardt Volger um, with uh, canceling that charge and putting that enemy Reinhardt in a place where he didn't want to be on the ground um, in front of their whole enemy team. Uh, great reaction time, good Reinhardt to do that. Uh, a lot of trading back and forth now here. The last fight has ensued, a big Diva Bomb could happen here, a shatter. And it looks like... And we like see an eaten dragon by the Diva completely taken off the field. Excellent job by Drexel there negating those ultimates and keeping that cart at that five meter mark, um, 66 meters. They got to point three. I think Harrisburg has what they need more uh, 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 with their morale. I think that they're definitely doing a lot better than the first game. They switched off that Reinhardt. They're being more mobile. Um, we're gonna get a map pick here, um, or um, excuse me, we're gonna flip sides on this map. Mm -hmm. um, I'm expecting this a very similar comp, a dive comp from uh, Drexel, do you think we're going to see a Reinhardt switch? Uh, see, because the thing is, they did start with Reinhardt, and um, by them I mean Penn State, and then they quickly had to switch off it, so they may glean from that that Reinhardt's not the move here. However, they have been picking things that aren't usually picked, like the Farah Mercy combo, so we may see the Rhine on this map. Uh, it would be difficult to play defense without a, a, a main tank. Um, dive defense is difficult, but it's definitely mm -hmm. doable. Um, we saw years ago that uh, on, on maps like Temple of Anubis first point, um, defense dive is very doable. King's Row is a little bit more difficult. There's not a lot of high grounds that are very valuable to dive, uh, dive tanks and dive uh, DPS. Um, you don't have a, a high ground that's in front of the point. You have a high ground that's behind the point. And so what that means is you're going to have to wait for them to push in before you dive in. And um, you might not want to force that dive right there. You might want to take it in other places. And they don't have that option here. So I think what I would expect here um, from Penn State would be some kind of super bunkery, mm -hmm. um, hard to break defense here um, instead of those dive characters. They might be uncomfortable switching to, um, you know, somewhat of a dive defense here. And here we go, pushing in on the first, uh, the first push here. A little bit early. We already have a kill here oh on the Presti. Lord. That dive is there. Um, they have to back off here early. They may have a recontest here if they get on with their tanks, and they do. They're pushing in here. Um, CPP for life, pushing up, um, trying to get any amount of damage onto these valuable characters that are caught out of position, but gets frozen and shot by Hitscan here. Vulgar pushing up, getting a kill. Savage Badger does get the res off onto a high health target. That will keep him on the point for a little bit longer, buying a little bit more time. What do you see here from Drexel Oldwise here, uh, pushing up here? Uh, Ultimate-wise, we've got a Blizzard almost online. We're pretty much on the way to Hitscan Heroes Ultimate being uh, High Noon, and there, that's a combo that could be pretty deadly in stopping them from even moving. We also see them pushing up horribly far just to pretty much negate them even walking out of the third point. Zach here's got to be careful. 
These players could get caught very quickly. Looks like Drexel opting, opting not to push incredibly far forward, but um, only taking the corner there. I think that that's a good idea. Um, it gives uh, uh, them more option to put through on cart. Looks like they didn't for a moment there. A little bit of a mistake in comms, I'm sure. Um, uh, pushing up here, taking the high ground here, Penn State Harrisburg, I think a very good decision, denying that space from their tanks, um, making it harder for them to stay. Uh, but they just need that damage. I think right now, having the double hit scan, they just don't have that damage to deal with all these characters. We see Soldier trying to go around on the side flank, not really getting anything done, and the payload keeps getting pushed as they abandon that precious high ground and go straight for the brawl, getting in each other's faces. A grab goes out in high noon as well, and it's pretty much over as they continue to move the payload with only two ultimates spared. A great rotate there from Drexel, trying to uh, prevent that high ground from getting any value. Um, Penn State Harrisburg with a couple of bodies they can throw onto the point real quick before it switches to last spawn. Zack and Savage Badger both getting a pick there. Um, shout out to my Mercy mains who, who who pull out the Glock occasionally. Yep, no, been known to do that every now and again. We see a Mercy go down the hit scan hero though as they're coming right out of spawn and they're moving right along. Uh, we've got some a little bit of indecisiveness from Penn State Harrisburg. Um, they're pretty much split half and half through the point. We've got right up front though, hopefully coming to get some sort of pick. Uh, we've also got a We've got a uh, McCree that completely just gets annihilated by an ice block. Can't get anything done with this high noon. Pretty much has to cancel it and see a fire strike go out. And they're starting to stop the cart in its tracks and move Drexel backwards, which is exactly what they want to do. Um, as we continue, we see another wall come out. And Diva Bomb comes down, hopefully to get something done. We get a pin on point, and there's just ultimates flying around on the screen, ladies and gentlemen. We get a remake kill, a charge kill, pretty much anything in the books here as Drexel keeps moving on forward, pressed up immediately, intensely far. And we see that the Diva comes out of mech, and we're just pretty much annihilating anything that comes out of those spawn doors. Uh, Drexel here with an amazing time bank, ending things off with a grab, just getting everyone off of the point, and it looks like we're going to have about four minutes in the time bank once they can get everyone off this point. The ammo goes down on the field. Reinhardt, ooh, stuck pulse bomb onto the Baptista. That means heals are going to be down. This may be the opportunity here for them to turn it around. They turn their tournament life on the line here. Penn State Harrisburg pushing as hard as they can, um, and it looks like they're trading evenly here. The stalls could be enough. The Lucio gets on point, but he gets oh, booped off, and and it's over. Drexel A taking the first match of the day. Um, I will say congratulations to Penn State for coming out. Um, I think they definitely pulled it together on the second map here, mm -hmm. uh, but it just was not enough against this damage from Drexel. Amazing showings from both teams coming out today. Definitely a worthwhile match to watch. And we see the play of the game here from CB with a beautifully placed window to going together with his Sigma to just completely obliterate the team. Uh, what is the, your favorite moment from just this match in general? I think honestly that, that very first push on uh, control center of Li Zhang, um, we saw Optimal Shot hit an incredible mid-air shot onto an auto that got slammed. Mm -hmm. And I think that kind of set the tone right there for the rest of the match. Um, Drexel just dominating uh, their tank lines. The DPS putting enough pressure on the supports that um, you know any other amount of damage from the side or something would take them out. So um, again, congratulations to Penn State. Congrats to Drexel A. And um, we're going to be going to a quick break. And when we come back, will be Westchester versus Kutztown B, so stick around.